Hey guys, what's going on and welcome to this episode Sire Guide. I am making this video because a lot of people re requested me because I haven't really made a really good up-to-date episode Sire Guide. I have a very old mage guide, another crappy guide. This guide will be about working your way with this little thing, the Ornith Rejuvenation Pool. If you don't have it, this guide will not be for you and you will have to resort to other methods. This method is about using this pool to heal up during a kill instead of never healing at the pool at all. All right, so the first skill is always a bit different. Uh, you can decide to do half a kill first. That's generally what I always do. But I will tell you how I do it. I personally kill Epsos Sire itself with my Twisted Bow because it's the best DPS. If you don't have it, which is most likely, you will just use Arc Light and Full Bandles. You might want to switch the rings around to a Berserk Ring in that case. Uh, that was weird to do. Um, the first thing you do is, of course, wake it up. I always directly equip my um, blowpipe after shooting one arrow with, with my Twisted Bow because the blowpipe cannot reach it, and then you can instantly use uh, Shadow Barrage. If you click Shadow Barrage too early, it might cancel out and it might not do anything at all. So I think that's a very nice thing to do. I am using Rune Darts, by the way. I think Adamant is good, good enough as well. I just really like to use good darts because I want things to be fast and then you just wait for it to wake up again and you do the same thing on the other side now the good part comes after when these vents die well right now i still have all my prayer or almost all my prayer and all my hit points so this is not as necessary as you would have uh, during the trip itself but after the last vent dies after i i know it's dead i teleport to my house directly uh and heal in the pool and then you have to hurry your ass because if you're too slow, then the sire will the desire will despawn and you have to do it all over again. And this was really slow. I am gonna camp it though because I don't mind about my hit points at all. Normally you're more than on time. So right now the sire is slowly gonna walk out of his throne, very very slowly. And in this time the, you use your uh, pool, and then you go back instantly. And this is also the time where I switch my gear around. And get ready for my hammer specs. This is exactly the same. So far, exactly the same without a twisted bow. Uh, the only difference is that after my two specs, I switch over to my range gear and I uh, range the desire. And otherwise, you just equip your arc light and continue with that. If you don't have a dragon warhammer, I recommend arc light specs because you lower the defense of the monster, which is very nice. So you use two of your specs on it, and then you equip your range gear rigor on. And you own the game. I actually think you have to pray melee here, don't you? Um, it's a long time ago, boys. Sorry. You should protect from, me uh, uh, from melee here. And you wait until his hit points is lower than 50%. I think it was 50%, right? Yes. Below 50%, it will move over. And I always walk to the same spot. Don't ask me why exactly. But I always stand here. Wait for it to get ready. The moment you have an attack option, you can click attack. And you move over two steps. That was a little bit slow, Thomas. And every arrow you shoot, you can uh, then move away. And when it's below a certain amount of hit points, it will teleport me to him again. And you have one to run away south instantly. Because he will explode. And if, uh, if you tank that hit, then you will take a lot of damage. Well, if your hit points is low, because I kind of failed, you... Might have wanted to use Blood Bears there, but I actually killed it extremely fast there. It was faster than I then expected. It's not a problem at all. Normally, without a POH man, you would be like, oh shit, I'm at 26 hit points. Right now, it doesn't matter at all. You just start your kill. And kill the vents. You use your rest of your prayers. If you ha almost have no prayer left, then that's a, that's a bit of a bummer, but it's all right. You just use the rest of your prayers on, on Rigor or, or, or Eagle Eye, just whatever you have. You kill the vents again. I might actually switch over to Dragon Darts myself. It's probably not worth it, but I do like this part to be fast. Because let's be honest here, we don't want Sire to take too long now, do we? So when the eyes are opening again, they are right now, then you get your other Shadow Barrage out. You might want to make sure that you don't get hit too much by the tentacles if your hit points is this low. They do hit kind of high. I'm not even sure what their max hit is, but they can hit pretty high. Normally you'll be like, oh damn, my run is low, my prayer is low, my hit points are low, how am I ever going to do the kill? Someone got 99 Hunter. Congratulations, Aim. And um, 
But no, but this time we just teleport to the house. Let this thing walk out of his throne again. Use the pool. Now you do want to make sure that this is fast, because if you're too slow, it, as I said, it will just despawn. You have to restart everything again. I don't think you would want to do that. You switch your melee gear on. I repot every two or three kills. You can repot really fast if you don't mind about potions. You can repot slow if you do care about them. Of course, the fresher your repot is, the better it is, I would say. And when you arrive here... Now this time, we let, let's use melee protect. He's ready for you for action, and you just spec again, and you hope to hit at least once, because it's a really big difference. There we go, feels good. Slap on the riggers, and hit him. After this kill, I will do a kill with arc light, so you know exactly what it's done. Um, below 50% again, it will start chasing. Well, not really chasing, we'll just move his location. And I actually am a really... Pretty damn low hit points. You could in theory put um, attack options uh, differently so you can always more easily run away. But I generally don't really like that too much. Teleports and then you just spam click on, on, on the south and you just click attack again. And you go from here. Well, let's, let's say I'm a little bit lower hit points than I actually am. You can... Oh. You can use your uh, blood bears to heal up on the uh, the big pile of monsters. If you do get poisoned, make sure to heal up because it hits 8, I think. It's pretty deadly. So this is a little bit of a less le lesser kill than the last time. But still, uh, pretty easy. And we got Uncut Diamonds. Really good Iron Man drop. Really good Iron Man drop. So I do take a lot of food with me, which you generally don't use. You generally eat it when you need inventory space. So now we're going to do a kill uh, um, on the way that you would not have a Twisted Bow. You just start exactly the same with your full of, with your full of range gear. I do recommend this method to use as many switches as possible, or at least almost as many. You might want to bring actually a Tyrannical Ring, uh, the Crush Bonus Ring for the Dragon Armor Specials. But I would say bring a Berserker Ring if you're using uh, the melee method with the Arc Light. I do not recommend anything else other than Arc Light. So unless there's a very specific reason for you not having an arc light, uh, get yourself an arc light. And otherwise, tentacle whip, I guess. Hastown crush. I don't even. Hmm. Good question. Just use arc light. <laughs> Just use your arc light. Easy peasy. Sometimes you might have a special left over here, which you could use. Um, specials on task do hit quite nice. Teleport to your house again. Get all your stats back. And this is also the time where I'll be reporting as well. Thank you for the stats. So if you use your armadillo just for the vents, then th this is where the armadillo uh, leaves its position. Um, so yes, I do report over here already. So yeah, again, the sire should be ready for me. There he is. He didn't be, he didn't despawn. Feels good. And I hit once very high. 68. Thank you. And a zero. And then you just make sure um, to attack it. If there are some green pools underneath, you just have to run away. Um, you don't really care about anything else, to be fair. Um, the little monsters he spawns, you can just ignore them. They do hit a little bit, but not too much. So again, below 50, last hit, and he walks towards the middle. Again, same position here. Uh, this is actually a lot easier to avoid the first pool, because you just spam click on attack, and the moment you can attack it, uh, the pool will be there. I actually started the wrong spot, didn't I? Yes, I did. And again, walk south, and the moment it opens, you can click attack again. The pool will be all the way to the south. Could attack twice and then you just keep alternating between the two between the two spots you don't have to care too much about your hit points especially in bandos the things don't really hit you too much unless they're all matured out and hit high but there you go and um we even have 86 hit points left 30 350 cosmics again a really good iron man drop i hope it's kind of clear how you have to do this method um you do need a house tap every kill but i guess that's all right you use a range pot and a combat pot every two kills i would say um, recommended items are definitely Dragon Warhammer because it makes the kill so much faster. If you don't have Dragon Warhammer, use your Arclight specs. It also lowers the attack strength and defense of the Amazon Sire, which is nice. 
um, if you want to use something else, um, you could probably probably get away with using a Bandle Skill Torch pack. I wouldn't really recommend it though. Maybe Crystal Hell is better. Everyone, thank you very much for watching. Hopefully it was informative. And I will see you next time.